Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Often asked by people that are only shooting photography, what camera should I buy? And usually it's still coming down to, if you're just shooting photography, it's still often coming down to a choice between Canon and Nikon. And that's what our user, uh, Rafat Ahmed, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm terrible with names that aren't English because I'm awful and only speak English. I wish I was bilingual. Anyways, uh, Rafat, I hope I'm saying that right, says, Hey Matt, I'm looking to buy a camera with the budget of $1,500, including lenses and other equipment, brackets, flash, storage, etc. So his total budget, $1,500. The camera will be used just for photography. I was interested in the Nikon D7100 and the Sony A6000. Any suggestions? Would love if you could make a video response. No problem, and thanks for your question. I would go with the 7100. Reason being, it's way more of a pro camera than the A6000. It has better autofocus than the A6000. In fact, it has Nikon's top of the line autofocus. Not, I mean, there's been one iteration since, but it's still very, very high up on the autofocus chain for Nikon. Far better than what you're gonna get out of the Sony A6000. Also, I like and prefer the, Sony, uh, the Nikon lens lineup over the Sony's. With the Sony's, I think you'd be spending more money for decent lenses. You wouldn't be able to get the, in the Nikon system, you can get very good value, very high quality lenses that, um, you know, F1.8s versus F1.4s and things like that. Whereas in the Sony system, their lower uh, priced lenses just don't seem to be the quality. And that's one of the things that's kept me out of the Sony system, in my humble opinion. And um, I do like the A6000 as a camera, but I would use it adapted. So if you're okay just shooting fully manual, then by all means, um, check it out. But I'd be using adapted lenses on it if I was going to get it. For instance, I was thinking about picking up an A6000, if you'll remember in a past video, uh, to use with a Nikon 50mm F1 II, one of the old manual focus Nikons that you can still buy brand new. So that's the way I would use the A6000. If I want a camera for normal photography use, no question I get the 7100 over the A6000. But what do you guys think? Would you agree with me? Would you go with the Nikon? Would you take the D7100 or even perhaps the newer D7200? In this situation with Rufat with 1500, I would go the 7100 because it allows you some money left to get a good lens. You could probably get a good zoom and a good, um, I would add the 50 mil F18G. It's a no brainer for me. Or because that's a 7100 and it has a motor drive and it can drive the older D lenses, I would add the F14D. Uh, that I that you've see, I, I have now and you've seen me I picked it up used for a good price I think it was two hundred dollars uh, and then you could add some flash and storage all within that budget so that is the route I would go but what do you guys think do you agree with me or would you go Sony or is there something else you would go would you is there a Fuji would you go Panasonic we're talking photography here solely photography he stipulated that thanks for your question looking forward to your feedback folks let's help out Rafat. And uh, let me know what you would do and why. Leave it in the comments below. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.